Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. It's a busy news day, so let's get straight to your headlines. The burnt out cargo ship carrying about 4,000 Volkswagen Group vehicles has sunk. The Felicity Ace was being towed back to safety when it hit rough weather. The ship's operator said the boat sank 220 nautical miles off the coast of Portugal's Azores Islands. It had been battered by waves and was leaning 45 degrees to its starboard side. Nearly half of the vehicles on board were Audi models, about 1,100 were Porsches, and approximately 500 were VW brand. There were also Bentley and Lamborghini models on board. VW said last week that the vehicles lost in the fire would be covered by insurance. Turning to February U.S. sales, last month's light vehicle deliveries are expected to drop 10 to 11 percent. But several automakers saw gains. Let's get to the numbers. Genesis surging 45 percent to its best February on record. Hyundai brand jumping 8.5 percent. Mazda up 8.3 percent. That gain was largely driven by its crossovers. Kia snapping a six-month sales skid, ticking up 2.3 percent. On the other side of the coin, Toyota Motor North America sliding 11 percent for the month. Deliveries for the Toyota brand fell 12 percent, while sales for Lexus were off 5.6 percent. Toyota's inventory stood at a 16-day supply at the end of February. Volvo and Ford will report tomorrow. This plan is the start of Stellantis greatness and our first imprint on the future. That is Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares, the automaker unveiling its long-term strategic plan today. Among the highlights, Stellantis aims to double its net revenue to $335 billion by 2030. That while maintaining double-digit adjusted operating margins. The moves will come as the automaker speeds up electrification plans. Stellantis aims to have 75 battery electric vehicles on the market and sell 5 million EVs annually by 2030. Stellantis teasing one such model, Jeep brand's first full electric SUV, which will launch next year. We have much more on the plan at autonews.com. And Volkswagen expects to temporarily idle more plants. That, as the automaker faces a shortage of key parts from suppliers in Ukraine. The latest plan includes VW's main Wolfsburg factory along with two others. You may recall two factories in Germany are down this week due to parts shortages. That's all for today. Have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you back here tomorrow.